I mean, let's just take PTs, for example. The points I just made about you've started a podcast, you're doing lives, you're doing far more content than you've ever done. Like, you're literally putting content out. One of your biggest things that the trainers say to me is, oh, I just don't know what to post. They're all posting. Home workouts, uh, recipes, like, they're doing it all. Um, you know, all these, all these kind of things. Fat loss clients are now walking more than they've ever walked, running 5Ks, like making food, like making actually making food themselves instead of bunging things in microwaves. Like, are you going to be the pet? Are you going to be the PT when this is all over that you get caught back up in that rat race? Uh, that when ultimately what's going to happen is people are going to want trained after this. They're going to want gyms are going to be busy. Are you just going to let every Tom, Dick and Harry walk through your door? The podcast falls in its arse. You don't even get by episode five. The lives stop straight away because you're too busy. You know, fat loss clients that your pubs open back up, the gyms open back up, but the pubs open back up. It's summer now. Like all the cafes, all the restaurants open back up. You've no idea, you've not seen all your pals in ages. Social events are going through the roof. So I think, like Scott said, is it's time to maybe look at your check in with your coach and highlight those wee areas that say, Oh my God, never thought I would run a 5K and enjoy it. Never thought I would day steps like this. Never thought I would do all the all these things that you've been doing well in lockdown. Try and remember them because uh, when this lockdown is lifted and lifted and lifted in stages, you're probably going to go back to square one. You can try and prove me wrong. I hope you do. But for the personal trainer, um, you know, a true test of growing your business is when you do it at a time it's busy and you're and not not in a time like this. It's quiet. You're, you're not in your gyms, PT, and your people. You've got content coming out your ears. This is not a test in time, unless you're struggling financially, but certainly there's money to be made right now. So let's see if the personal trainers go back to, oh, I can't post on Instagram. I've only done two posts this week. Or, uh, you know, I can't, I can't do my podcast. I can't reach out to X, Y, and Z. Well, you'll go back to being mediocre, if that's the case. Um, and it's the same, like Scott mentioned, with general population, fat loss clients, that... You, you, we like to think, and there's an optimist, an optimist in both ways that we're like, come on, like let's hope so. But we'll see, we'll see, and time will tell. And like, like I said, they'll hopefully just reflect back on the stuff that you've said uh, with conviction during this lockdown that you're never going to take for granted, or that you're never going to do this, never going to do that again. Um, because the people who really do is the people who are going to come out the other end of this feeling really good and positive and, and going to, in the next six months, are going to continue their progress. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's a challenge for anybody listening.